Hey guys, today we're going to be drawing the Fruit Loops Ad Icon Toucan Sam. Kind of looks like that. And so let's get started. We're going to start by drawing a kind of U shape above his eye. Just like that. And you can feel free to pause the video if you need it to catch up. So now we're going to draw his eye right below the U shape, the circle. Now we're going to draw another circle close to the edge of that circle with the light reflecting in his eye. And then now we're going to start to draw the curve of his beak. So you're going to start up kind of at the tip of the U. And you're going to draw up this big kind of S shape. And it's going to, this is his beak, so it's going to go down and come to a curve right about there. Now we're going to Go back to the area you kind of started drawing the U in. You're going to draw a line down, and then it's going to hook up and curve up towards where his mouth is. And then we're going to start at the point of that line and hook it back inward, kind of like another U shape there. Now we're going to draw another S line that starts a little bit past this first this U that we drew, and then draw it down, kind of curve it inward. To get the main shape of the beak. Now we need to finish off his mouth. So we're going to draw a line connecting the top part of his beak to the bottom there. And we're going to draw his tongue, kind of like two U shapes connected to each other there. All right, now we got to do the patterns of his beak. So the first one we're going to draw is kind of like a W shape towards the edge, Just like that. And then we're going to draw a tall kind of S shape for the next one. And then we're going to draw kind of another U shape on the end. And there we have his beak. So now we're going to try to finish the rest of his head. Let's start off on the other side of the U that we drew first above his eye and kind of make a curve line that. And then we're going to draw another curve line kind of from this, from his mouth over a little bit. And you're not going to quite connect it. You're going to leave it a little bit open like that. And now let's start by drawing his stomach. We'll start a little bit past his mouth and draw a curve down like this. Just like that. And then we're going to draw his feet. So kind of in the middle of that line we just drew, we're going to draw a straight line down. And that's going to be the line that's connecting both of his feet together. And then you're going to draw another line next to that, about a little less than halfway, half the length of that line that goes straight down. And then on this longer line in the middle, we're going to draw kind of a curve there. And then on this shorter line, we're going to draw another curve. And we're going to add two smaller lines with them there. Then we're going to do the same thing to the other foot. We're going to draw a line down like that. And then we're going to draw the curve at the bottom of his feet. And then curve it upward. And then we'll add those two smaller lines. All right, now let's add his arm. We're going to start here, kind of draw a line down like that, and then we'll bring it upward a little bit, up to about there. And then we're going to continue this line off a little bit, and bring it up, and bring it inward like that. Now you're going to start right there and do kind of a point, so you've got kind of a triangle shape there. And then we're going to draw his fingers or his feathers. We're going to draw kind of a shape like that. And, kind of, and then we're going to draw kind of another rounded shape like that. And then we're going to draw one more that kind of connects the triangular shape and the other fingers. And then we're going to draw part of the spoon. It's going to kind of curve down right here 
that back up. Now you're going to continue that just above his fingers, draw a line there, and then we're going to draw kind of a round, kind of ovalish shape with a spoon that kind of goes around like that, and then bring it back down. Then we're going to draw the inside of the spoon with a little curved line right there. Alright, now let's finish some of his stomach. We're going to start on this line right here, just by where his beak is, and we're going to bring that down, kind of curve it right there, up to about where this foot is. And then we're going to draw a V, just like that. Alright, now let's do a little bit of tail feather. So we're going to start kind of by the, in between the spoon and his arm. And draw a curved line. We're going to bring it in like that. And then a little bit past the first feather, we're going to draw another one. Goes like that. And then we're going to draw one more right there and then connect that back to his, the rest of his body. Alright, now let's finish the feathers on his head. There's one that kind of goes up like this. Finish it. And then we'll do one more off that one. We'll kind of draw a line there. And then bring it back down. Alright, and then now we're going to draw his other arm. We're going to draw kind of a curved shape right there. And he's going to be holding a cereal bowl in his hand. So we're going to start on this line and kind of draw a curve. Bowl. And then we're going to curve it in, like that, and we'll finish it off by drawing kind of a half circle to make the bowl look kind of a 3D effect. And then we're going to draw kind of a V shape under his head to finish off his wing there holding the bowl. Then we're going to draw a little line to give it some more detail of the bowl. And now we're going to draw some fruit loops in the bowl. So we can, you can kind of make up whatever pattern you want. Just add a few circles in the bowl. And then in between some of them you can add a little dot in between them. Just like that. And then now we're going to color in some of those areas that are black, like his eye. You can go ahead and take your Sharpie if you have one and color in his eye. And you can also go ahead and color in his mouth. And if you want, you can color in the tip of his beak, but we're not going to do that. We're, I think we'll color that in with a colored pencil instead, so we don't use as much ink. And so after that, your drawing is done. Now we're going to go ahead and color it in. We'll come back to you once we do that.
Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe for future content. And don't forget to comment what you want us to draw next. Bye.